Hello YouTube, this is Jean and welcome to Crypto Picks. Today I'm going to talk about my top ICOs for November. I am always excited to bring these videos out, especially if I find a coin that just gets me super excited and super passionate. Last time I did this was in September and it was Syndicator and Wanchain. These are probably the most exciting videos I get to do, at least so far, on my channel. Today, we're going to start off with Utrust. Let's talk about the token use. So Utrust is an ERC20 token that can be used on the Utrust platform, spending it in merchants that support Utrust or private buyer slash seller transactions. Interesting note, each time a buyer pays with any cryptocurrency via Utrust payment platform, a percentage of the transaction fee is used to buy back Utrust token and remove them from the market. The removed tokens will be destroyed, so the higher the volume of transactions in the Utrust platform, the higher the potential market value of the token since a percentage of the transaction fee is removed from the pool in each market transaction. Here's a little diagram to kind of compare Utrust, PayPal, and BitPay. So you can see it has pretty much everything that PayPal and BitPay has plus a lot more. Let's next move to the token sale info. So the ICO starts on November 2nd, super early, literally at the beginning of November. This is why I'm wanting to post this video so early. There's going to be 1 billion total tokens, 850 million distributed tokens. The max market cap they're looking for is 49 million. This is a bit high in my opinion. This is the one thing that's kind of throwing me off. Also, the private investors pay two cents per token and they got 10% of the total amount. Presale paid three cents per token and they got 5% of the total amount. And the ICO are paying 6.5 cents per token and we get 70% of the total amount. So they did get a significant sale, but they did not get too big of an amount of tokens. Whatever the amount of tokens generated will be created. A good example of this, if only 50% of the tokens are sold, then 500 million tokens will only be generated, therefore decreasing the total tokens from 1 billion to 500 million. Let's next move to the team section. I want to make this quick and easy and will only point out the stars or superstars since their team is so large. Also, any interesting information I found. So their first superstar is Felipe Castro. He's their CIO. He has developer, advisor, and lead experience, and he worked for one year at the United Nations, which is what brought me to make him a superstar. Next is Gabriel Poca. This guy right here. They say he worked on key projects for AT&T, along with helping launch several startups. His LinkedIn is actually lacking all this experience, which is kind of sketchy to me. But since he did work on key projects, supposedly for AT&T, I gave him the superstar. Now something interesting, there are 13 members that were sub-visual employees. This is not mentioned anywhere on the white paper. You got Robert, Luis, Laura, uh, Huejo, Nick, Miguel, Francisco, Gabriel, Ronaldo, Fernando, Bruno, and Pedro. Literally all those guys worked for that same company. That's kind of interesting. I'm wondering what happened there. And that's pretty much for their team. I, I wanted that to be super swift. I gave you the important details in my opinion. Next, their superstar advisors. Really could only find one being Mark Howland, who's their financial advisor. He was an investment banking analyst for Goldman Sachs for three and a half years. Gave him a superstar for that, that experience. So with their roadmap, it looks like in 2017, it's pretty much just finishing up their ICO, the funding phase. Then they plan to have a transactional API platform ready for merchants to test in Q2 of 2018. Q3, they want to have their wallet app where buyers and merchants can check their balance and transaction history. Then we got Q4. 
they're going to release their iOS and Android app and have live transactions supported by over 200 merchants. Q1 2019 platform refinement and expansion expected over 1,000 merchants. So to summarize, you trust, they seem like a pretty good project with an, an actually solid team behind it. Could be something that I plan on jumping on. There's definitely a lot of hype surrounding this ICO. When I was kind of checking out the groups asking which coins they're excited about in November, so many people were talking about you trust. Actually, one of my friends in a private group I use told me about you trust also. So there's definitely a lot of hype surrounding this ICO, which if it's tough to get in, could drive the price. I mean, who knows? Their market cap is a bit high if they're able to reach it. If they don't, then they're going to burn those tokens, which is exciting. I am registered and ready to contribute. But again, I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to at this moment. I would like to hear your opinions on this ICO. Are you investing? And if so, why? Next, let's go to a coin that I'm actually super excited to talk about. Spectre. So Spectre's project idea is the world's first brokerless financial trading platform with an embedded decentralized liquidity pool, decentralization and tokenization of the broker, meaning it is owned by the masses. That's pretty much what they're trying to push here. Now their token use, they actually have a super interesting and kind of a unique token use. They're going to have two different tokens, the dividend token and the utility token. The utility token is a token for traders. This gives the traders power slash privileges. The powers are higher payouts, access to more asset classes, more contract types, Spectre Financial Academy. Uh, so the token buyback they are doing is focused on this token specifically. Now the dividend token, probably the one I'm more interested in, these are more for the smaller investors such as myself. This is direct play on the, the platform volume. 2% fee is paid each time you trade and that, that is paid straight to the dividend token holders every month and at the end of the year. So the way you're gonna get this coin, it's different. Once you buy the spec token at ICO, you'll receive a quote, stem token which can be converted later after the ico to either dividend or utility so it's not like i buy a thousand tokens and i get a thousand of spec d and spec u you pick if you want the dividend or the utility token so now to the token sell information the ico starts on november 17th there will be 120 million dividend tokens called spec d and 120 million utility tokens called spec u so altogether there's 240 million total specter tokens for the ico the total tokens is 480 million tokens so the other 50 percent will be held by the specter team both spec d and spec u are erc20 tokens which is obviously a positive any unsold tokens will be burnt the market cap is 30 million and the token price is 15 cents for both the dividend and utility token. Now, pre-sale received a 33% discount. Once they reach $15 million, it went to 22%. You can still participate in the pre-sale if you go sign up right here. It will start October 27th and end November 5th. I do plan on jumping on this one especially the pre-sale if you can get in it and you're excited about this do it go sign up the main token sale will not have a discount next let's move to their team again one of the most important parts of any ico so this is also a super big team so i'm going to just cover their superstars first is their ceo k I, I just want to point out this guy is awesome. I was in their telegram and he answered every single question I had within seconds. He didn't say, oh, we've already announced this. Go look at announcement, blah, blah. He was awesome. And if you look, there's several interviews he has, one with Ian, and he's just so clear and he, he speaks so well. It was very nice to see. 
he is uh, a superstar because he worked at JP Morgan's for four years, then was the executive director in research and investment at Goldman Sachs for over two years. Definitely superstar experience there. Something I love to see in the CEO of the company. Their next superstar is Otto. He is their director of research and development. So before Spectre, he worked at Microsoft as a senior support specialist for two years. Superstar because of the Microsoft experience. I always love to see the Microsoft, Google, Apple experience. Next is Adam. He is the blockchain consultant and auditor. He has extensive experience at Morgan Stanley for over 13 years. Now, if you move to the advisor section, they have two advisors and their superstar advisor being Man Manelos. He went to MIT and Harvard and is the CEO of Velti, a major mobile advertising operator. This guy seems like pretty big. This guy actually isn't too bad either. He served at JP Morgan as an analyst. Therefore, I'd probably give him a star. They have a good team and good advisors. Next, if you look at their roadmap and we go to Q4 2017, pretty much they're finishing with the public sale and the pre-sale. Then they have the public beta with testnet integration. Then you got Q1 2018, we got the DAP smart contracts, DAP and server security audits. Then we have the mainnet integration, product launch, marketing and acquisition, and then the trademark application. 2018 Q2, Q4, you got the new assets and trade types, compliance regulatory license, Forex and CFD trading. Then Q1, Q2 2019, automated order matching, and then DAP store. So to summarize Spectre, I originally had no clue about this ICO, then was recommended by the same friend who told me to check out WanChain. After doing my research, I'm actually really excited to participate in this ICO. They already have a live trading platform, which I'm signed in here. They have a great team, good advisors. They pay dividends for one of their tokens. The market cap isn't ridiculously high at 30 million and 15 million for each token which I'm actually interested to see how that will translate to the exchange. I would love to see your opinion on this token. Also, if you have any questions at all, please jump on their telegram and just ask. They are super quick to respond and they are super professional. I, I'm, I really like this coin. This is my video of my top two ICOs for November. I know there's a lot of hype around Utrust, but please don't rule out Spectre. It's definitely an ICO that I personally am going to consider most likely invest. I'm just excited at how quick they are to respond in Telegram. They have a great team. They have a working platform already. It just, I'm excited about the dividends. Everything just seems really exciting for them. I want to thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.